Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation. Today, we're going to be taking a look to our new bulk workflow tool. And for the purpose of this demo, I have created a 30-day trial, which is where I got started right here. And I've also downloaded the zip file containing the tool. So the first step will be to extract the files making up the tool. Once the files are extracted, I'm going to run the exe and execute it. Now, the first thing I need to create is a new connection. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new connection. It's going to be HTTPS because I'm connecting to CRM online, although the tool works for CRM on-premise as well. I'm going to give it a nickname. So I'm going to type demo in here. And then to find my discovery service name and uh, the organization name, I need to go to CRM and, unless you know it already, navigate to Settings, Customizations, Developer Resources, and you will be able to pull your organization unique name and also your discovery service server name. So let's go ahead and populate this information. So your discovery server name is disco.crm.dynamics.com. The organization name will be August 13. And then you log in with your information. Go ahead and log in. Okay. All greens means that the connection was good. Now, when the tool gets loaded first, you will notice that my connection has been saved. This means that it will allow you to, uh, over time, create multiple connections and just switch from one to another easily. And then the second thing that you need to know is that the workflows that are going to be executed by the tool need to be marked to run as on-demand. So automatic workflows will work as long as they have uh, the on-demand uh, checked. So I have created a process in here, and I don't have it run it automatically. I only have it as an on-demand process. And what this workflow does is that it takes uh, it runs for contacts, and it takes the contacts that don't that are connected to an account that doesn't have a uh, primary contact, and it sets the contact as the primary contact for that account. It can be any workflow. This is just an example that I'm using today. So the first thing I'm going to select is what workflow I want to run, and by selecting that is a primary con or set primary contact workflow, the tool knows that it's going to run for the contact entity because that's what the workflow is set for. Now the second drop down menu allows you to select the view. Uh, you can select a system view as you can see which are the ones that are on top and you can also select a personal view. In this case I created a personal view that looks for contacts that are connected to a parent who don't have a, a primary contact set. So I'm going to select that. Now you notice that the tool really quickly runs through that view and it tells me that the total number of records to qualify is 1,016. Now this could be 10,000, 20,000, doesn't matter. I've run this tool for hundreds of thousands of records and it doesn't error out. It works really good. So in this case, all I have to do is click Execute Workflows and you can see that the tool rapidly submits all those workflows for hundreds of records. So you can see it did 200 out of 1,016. Now we are at 400 and all those workflows are committed to the database. I actually will navigate out of here to show you how those workflows are being committed to CRM online. I'm going to minimize this. Now I'm going to go to Ready System Jobs. And you can see how 1,016 workflows have been committed. Now these workflows will run little by little, but at least you as a consultant or a CRM administrator can close the tool and go around doing your business and letting the workflows execute over time. Again, the more workflows you have, the better, since all know, uh, you all know the limitations that you have if you're running them manually within CRM. You can only display up to 250 records at a time. There's a trick on a post that I posted a few months ago that shows you how to um, go to Outlook and pin a view so you, you know, all the records are appearing in one page and run them all for one page. But I noticed that I, I hit limits. I, I was able to run that trick pinning the views to up to 50,000 records. It took forever and Outlook would be unresponsive while the workflows are being submitted. 
this tool allows you to continue to work. It runs in the background if you have hundreds of thousands of records and it gets submitted really, really fast. You can see right here that I started executing the multiple workflows at 514 with 40 seconds and 22 seconds later I had already submitted over a thousand workflows to the database. There's no way that doing it manually you can go through it that fast. So uh, you can see if I refresh right here, it will be less and less workflows. Well, it hasn't started uh, executing them, but um, it's going to start ex executing all the workflows and you will see the results soon. So the workflows won't run any faster within CRM, but at least executing it will be a lot simpler. So thank you for watching today and uh, download the tool and start using it. Thank you.